All right, welcome back to part two of creating an Etsy listing from A to Z. In this one, we're gonna actually create our listing in Etsy and we're gonna sync it with Printify and I'll show you how all that works in processing our first order. If you missed part one, you'll see it in the comment. I'll leave the link right in that first comment so you can see where we created our design, did some research and created our mockups in place it. All right, so next up is creating our Etsy listing now. I'm just gonna show you how I ripped through this here. So it's create a new listing right here or you can just go into your listing and add listing here, right? So I'm going to add listing. You got physical item, who made it? I did is what I've been told to use by Etsy time and time again over the last 10 years. Not much has changed that way. People will say, you know, maybe another company or person. I don't really think it matters at that point, but the rationale here was that I did shows that you at least have a hand in making the design back in the time where there was no print on demand or anything like that. It's a finished product. When was it made? And for print on demand, they're made to order. Then you've got a couple of options here that are optional. The closest one would be something that uh, an item that my shop alters. It's, you know, starts with a commercially available item such as a t-shirt or a mug, blah, blah, blah. But my shop isn't altering this stuff at all. So I just leave this blank. Then you can go down here and select production partner. And I will pick Printify and I will click done. If you didn't already have Printify added here, you can just click on edit here and give it a descriptive title. So Production partner, you don't want them to know exactly that it is Printify fulfilling. If you do, that's fine. But if you don't, I'd rather have just, you know, something like a local print shop. It just seems more personal. It's got that more human element vibe to it that Etsy is always going on about, right? About the production partner. So they're a USA based printing company who makes all your awesome gear. Location, in this case, uh, San Francisco. It was the location of the particular printer I was using under Printify's umbrella. And you can just put whichever location most of your products are coming from. It doesn't have to be super specific here. Uh, why are you working with this partner? I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself. What is your role in the design process? There are other options here, but I always click, I design everything myself. And what is the partner's role in the production process? They do everything for me. So in this case, they are printing, packaging, and shipping, and marking, shipped, and uploading the tracking for you directly to your customer. That is the beauty of print on demand, right? Kind of hands off for us, which is very nice. And then I would just click save. Next up here, we have title. You can use E-Ranks Listing Builder here. They have a really awesome Chrome extension. It's got a new sweet little update. I'm gonna go over all the benefits and features of it in another video coming up soon, but I just wanted to show you guys this. So we have a click get suggestions and we've got a few here. So we've got fun cat in unicorn onesie sleeping t-shirt, cute comfy tee for cat enthusiasts. We've got adorable cute cat in unicorn onesie sleeping graphic t-shirt, perfect gift for cat lovers. I think that works. We can throw that in here. I might get rid of adorable here and I would make this make more sense. So cute sleeping cat in unicorn onesie, perfect gift for cat lovers. Perfect is a key word that I've seen some momentum on, so I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm also gonna put something like that. Next up is adding 10 photos and one video. I'm going to drag and drop my t-shirt mock-up so you can see what it looks like here. And then you can always make another video in place it. You can look up videos in there. You can always also buy and download color charts for whatever product you're using or size charts and stuff from directly on Etsy. A lot of sellers are selling that stuff. Or if you're a member of my Inner Circle membership, you would have access to some of that stuff for free. They're editable Canva templates that you can just change and make fit for yourself. And my membership actually is open until Monday night. So if you wanted to get into it, you can get into it now. There's a seven day money back guarantee on the monthly membership only, not on the yearly or the quarterly, but you do have an option to save some serious money if you opt for the quarterly or annual membership. That said, we're scrolling down to here. You can adjust your thumbnail. You can add your description. In this case, we can come down here and just copy this description here. Introducing blah, blah, blah. I will paste and it looks great. You can read through this and pause if you want. So next up is price and inventory. And I'm going to actually set this as though it was all US dollars, but we want to create our variations first. But in order to create our variations first, it says to choose category first. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to type t-shirt. There you go. Clothing, general, neutral, adult clothing, tops and tees, t-shirts. I'll just click that. And now we can come up here to variations and click add variations. We're gonna create our own, we're gonna call it size. And this is really easy. I'm just gonna do small. And then I'm gonna come back here and copy the rest of that. I'm just gonna hit return. And we've got our sizes now. I will click done. I will also add a variation. I'm gonna call it colors. 
And I will choose colors that are available for this design, but I don't have to necessarily enable all of them because we don't want our customer to get overwhelmed by having too many color options, right? So we can list them all, but then we can toggle certain ones off. So let's just go with the basics for now. So now I've added a bunch of colors here. I'll just click done. We want to have prices vary for sizes only here. We don't need to make price changes based on the color, just on the size. So if we went into Printify, for example, and I went to my most favorite t-shirt, which is the Gildan 64,000. I just wanna show you here, provider info. These are the sizes, so if we had a sport gray, you can see small, medium, large, XL, they're all the same price. As soon as you get to 2XL and 3XL, they go up a little bit. So I always wanna err on the side of caution and make sure I'm not sacrificing my bottom line. So I go right into making sure that the sizes vary for each, I will apply. And now I'm gonna have a list here that I can fill of potential prices. So if these are 802, and I like to charge at least $27 to $28 US for a Gildan 64,000. So if I was to go and put 28 here and I want to figure out what that would be in Canadian, I would just do 28 times 1.4, which is the current exchange rate. And I've got 39.2. So I'll probably just do 39, maybe 50. And I'll just copy this, paste. And then down here, we know we were up by a dollar, so I might double or triple it, that dollar. So I would add like $4 here. So it'd be 43 and 46 50. And the reason I like to charge as much is so that I can have at least a 35 to 40% off sale and still be making a healthy 35% profit margin, right? So going down here now, we've got colors all visible. You definitely want to make sure you fill in your tags. And in our listing helper here from E-Rank, we can pick a few of these. So we'll copy that one. Next up is the shipping options. So I've just gone in and picked a pre-existing shipping profile, but I do have an Etsy quick start guide that'll show you exactly how to create all these on your own. I'll just click feature this listing here, shop section. I will add a section and call it cats. I'll come up here and put nine for quantity. That way when Etsy is showing this to other shoppers, it'll say, hurry, grab this. X amount of people have it in their carts, but there's only nine left. And it always shows, you know, the remaining number if it's less than 10. So I'll never have 999 because urgency and scarcity are real drivers here. And if you have 999 of something, what is telling the customer that they better hurry up and check out, right? No real incentive to add it to cart and hurry up. So anyway, I'll just leave it at nine. Of course, if you're selling like 15 or 20 of these a day, you might want to leave it at a number that is a little bit higher than that. So like 15 or something, you'll burn through five and then at least it'll start showing. These are things you'd have to pay for in Shopify. But if you have multiple that are selling at, you know, 20 or 30 a day, again, just raise the quantity, right? And then be done with it. Okay, so now we've got this listing here and let's say you started to get some sales momentum and you maybe wanted to expand to a new product, right? Like the sweatshirts or the hoodies like we talked about. And always remember that success leaves clues. So if you're paying attention and a customer asks you, hey, can I get this on a sweatshirt or do you offer it on a hoodie? Just say yes and then add that to your listing. And here's how. I would just go back to place it here. We're going to apparel. I'm just gonna click on sweatshirts here. And you can obviously pick whichever one you want. And we're gonna lather, rinse, repeat here. So I'm just gonna click on this one because it's the first and easy one. We're gonna click on edit. And the nice thing here is that if it's the last thing you uploaded, you won't even have to change anything here. So you can just come here. If you need to, you just click on this for resize. And again, we can move this around and you'll see it impacted here immediately. So I just move it over so it looks good on here. So I'm just going to crop that, download again. And then of course you can go through and do this for your hoodies as well. And then we just go right over to Etsy gonna click on our listing here. You can click on edit right here, or you can go into your you know, main listing dashboard and click on listings here and then choose it and edit it. We're just going to drag our Gildan mockup onto our image files here. Now you've got it here. And if you wanna do this without wrecking any SEO, and I know this works because I just tried it on a family Christmas t-shirt. I added crew neck sweaters and hoodies to it and it sold that day. So I didn't you know, impact me in the search results or anything like that. You're not screwing around with any of the SEO. You're already getting the momentum here. Just gonna come down here and we're gonna manage variations. We're gonna come into sizes and then we're just gonna add a variation. So we're gonna go with add and you can see it adding it down here. And that's it. Done, apply. Now we have to add some pricing. So we'll show all 12 here. We go back into Printify here and now we're gonna look at catalog sweatshirts. This is the sweatshirt we're adding. Come down to choose manually look at our provider info. 
look at the pricing here. So $13.91 up until 2XL and 3XL and then they go up. I know I like to charge around $45 for a sweatshirt, which also leaves me around 40% markup after running a 30 or 35 percent off sale again so i'm just going to go and plug in those numbers because it's in canadian dollars i have to look up what 45 us dollars is so 45 times 1.4 for the exchange to tell me in canadian what it is it is 63 literally just copy paste it will go up a bit and that's it. And you can publish changes that easy, super fast, super simple. Now, if you're looking at the front of your shop here, you went into here. So now you can see that we have the sweatshirt image. And if we look down here and we went from t-shirts, you've also now got the sweatshirts down here with the added cost, right? So super simple to do. And if that wasn't easy enough, if you want to create a second listing, you never have to go through any of this again. In your niche shop, all you do is you come to duplicate. It's just going to create a duplicate of the same listing here. And you can see that by you'll have, you know, instead of preview, save as draft and publish, you'll have published copy here. So now we can swap out the new listing photos with the new designs that you're going to create for your second and third and so on listings and then you can swap out some of the keywording here to make it more relevant for that particular listing so let's say it's a, a cute cat in a dragon onesie right and so on and then you come down to the description make the relevant changes here to make sure it's something that tugs at the heartstrings and make it dragon related and then down to tags and do the same thing here. So we're gonna swap out unicorn with dragon onesie, blah, blah, blah. It literally cannot be any easier. All right, and if you came into your Printify orders, for example, you started getting orders here, you would see options here to submit your orders, but if you've never sold it yet, it'll come into your other orders tab. You would just click on one like this, it'll say not imported, click on this, for example, select product, and then you can just pick. So if they ordered a unisex large black, I would just click on the catalog here, Type the SKU, Gildan 64,000, come down to Monster Digital for example, you can use whoever you wanted, black, large, automatically import orders with this product variant. That means for every time somebody orders a large black, it'll auto populate from within Printify, you won't have to do anything else, it'll show up with the artwork already on it. So we're just going to tick this once, click next. You can go into my library if you've already uploaded, but if you haven't, we can just drag and drop this. And if you wanted to add a few more variants to it, since we we had black here, so you won't be able to see the text on here, obviously a bad choice of colors, but we could always add the white, we could add the sport gray, we could add the dark heather. You would add whatever colors you wanted to uh, show here. I'm just going to tick this one because we only had the one selected by default. Military green, the other ones we had, we had green, we had uh, royal, heather royal, and navy, I think, and heather navy, and save product. Because we chose large black when we were picking the product, it knows that it's already going to use this product here for that, that size and that color. But now next time somebody orders it, because we ticked that automatically use this for future orders box, it'll populate and then you'll just have to pick the size and color to match. We just come over here afterwards and click import order and then it would put it in the Printify orders tab. So then you would just come here and now it'd be one of these that you could just hover over here and click submit order. And that's all there is to it. Super simple to do. There's no need to create all these listings in your print provider. You know, I mess with SKUs, copying SKUs and worrying about, you know, creating different things here. If you went in to edit the listing, you'd have to you know, add a bunch of SKUs and things. It's just crazy. I didn't add a single SKU at all. It appends it in Printify for you, so you don't even have to do that. It's the fastest and easiest way I've found to be able to do this stuff in my 10 years of Etsy selling. So again, this is all kind of stuff that you can get more of in my Inner Circle membership. But if you're already a member and you're watching this, then you know what I'm talking about. This is exactly the breakdown I wanted to show you on how to add multiple items into your listings. You can also go ahead now and do the same thing for hoodies. If you like this and it makes sense for you, please leave me a comment down below and let me know or share it with somebody who might benefit from this kind of thing. Also, let me down down below if you have any questions or concerns about it, right? It's pretty easy to do, super simple to do. People put up all kinds of red flags, but I'm telling you it works. I've been doing it for long enough. Enough, right and if you wanted a little bit more in-depth tutorial about how I create on Etsy first and not from the POD provider you can check out this video right here but please don't judge the quality of the audio it's an old video love you guys and we'll see you in the next one